And this article, ladies and gentlemen, is by the AmericanThinker.com. All right. Make sure you guys go ahead and check them out. And it says, surprise. Woo. Ilhan Omar lied to Jewish voters in her district. Newly elected representative Ilhan Omar from, you know, Somali heritage, um, who replaces Keith Ellison, has reversed her position on the boycott divestment sanction movement that seeks to delegitimize Israel now that she is safely elected. Since she has cited no reason for changing her mind, she has been lying and Brent share of the Free Beacon reports it. What do you think about this here? She changed her mind just like a light switch, right? And give no uh, reasons of why. Um, what do you think this, uh, why do you think she's doing this is the first I question. Think, I don't think there's any question, Jermaine. Ilhan Omar is an Islamist, which means they believe that the American way of life, um, democracy, representative government, equality for women, and most importantly, equality among religions, is not only distasteful, but unacceptable under her version of literal Islam. So going back to her campaign, as was pointed out by a hundred writers, she appeared before numerous uh, groups in and around Minneapolis during the campaign saying, no, I'm against BDS. It hurts Palestinians as much as it hurts Israelis, which is true. It actually disproportionately hurts Palestinians. They lose the most jobs from uh, BDS movement uh, influence in especially the West Bank territories. And right after she was elected, she came out with, ha ha, tricked you, I'm in favor of BDS, and literally changed overnight. Now the reason why it's not a surprise, Jermaine, is she has been saying horrible, I mean that literally, anti-Semitic stuff for as long as there's been social media, going back to her famous quote that the Jewish people have hypnotized the world to be in control of the world, and she prays that Allah lifts the veil and people can see the truth. So this is, in other words, the entire nation of Israel is bad. And then the quotes got really, really sick over the last several weeks. And this is what has landed her in the front pages of newspapers and uh, in places like here right now um, consecutively every single day. Jermaine, she has said some literally horrible things like people in Congress that vote for any sort of cooperation with Israel are having dual lo loyalties. In other words, they're more loyal to Israel than they are to the United States, which means when 400 people vote for a resolution on terrorism aid to Israel to fight, say, the Islamic State, does that mean every member of Congress is disloyal to the United States? She's accusing those representatives of being treasonous. And then it gets worse. When she gets asked about it, she says, it's all about the money, it's about the Benjamins that APAC is laying out to these representatives. In other words, they're being paid off. She says this in the press. Now, when you do something like this, besides alienating everybody in your own party, at least the ones in your own party that have some sense of awareness, it is literally using one of the most infamous, long-lasting anti-Semitic tropes in world history. That was what was said in the Middle Ages to justify pogroms to kill Jews in the villages of Eastern Europe, that they're more loyal to the Torah than they are to, say, Austria or Poland or Russia or wherever they lived. It's what Hitler used in the 1930s. Almost word for word, those are Joseph Goebbels, his propaganda minister's uh, writings, which is Jews are more loyal to their own people, they're not really Germans. They're our enemy. And she's repeating the same thing. So, all of these things come out. She's obviously said them. Yep. 
the Democrats are horrified, the Republicans are mortified, and so they go to her privately and say, will you apologize? If not, we're going to have to condemn you in public. Now that seems reasonable, because here's my thought for all of your viewers to listen to today. If everything she said, if you took out the word Israel and you put in, say, African American, or Asian American, or Mexican American, or gay American, people would be up in arms and they'd be running her out of the Congress. That, and, and by the way, as they should, Jermaine, if the word was African American instead of Jewish or Israeli, but instead, she gets away with murder. Why? Because the left wing of the Democrat Party is literally gone over the edge with anti-Semitism, and anti-Semitism within that wing of the party, Germain, is now acceptable. And it's horrifying, it's disgusting, and I'm really sad to say you and I have to talk about it, because the Democrat Party wouldn't fix it, they let her get away with it.